Hey guys, I'm Anthony Bresnikan. I'm here at Entertainment Weekly's Comic-Con headquarters, uh, here for the convention 2018 with Haley Steinfeld. She is in, you're, you've got two movies you're going to yes. be presenting today. Uh, the new Transformers movie, Bumblebee. Correct. And then you're also a voice in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yes. Uh, tell us who you're playing in that one first. Well, I some play, people may know. Some are. people <laughs> may know. I'm playing uh, Spider Gwen in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm very excited about it. It's really, it's really been so incredible the process of it. I have never done um, a voiceover really to this extent, so uh, it's been amazing to see it come together. And the process is really unlike anything I've ever done in terms of, you know, going back and them then going and creating the image to what I've done, and then it's just like this constant back and forth, but it's coming together beautifully, and, and I'm really excited about it. Now, when you're doing Gwen Stacy's voice, when you're playing Spider-Gwen, uh, is there a difference between the two when you're playing Gwen well, Stacy versus Spider-Gwen, or how? Oh, well, um, <laughs> I guess you'll be able to see, uh -huh. uh, but it really it really was so much fun to um, play around with that mm -hmm. uh, and, and have that sort of side to her where she kicks into gear and that natural leader kicks in and she's Spider-Gwen and she's on the move um, mm -hmm. versus when she's Gwen Stacy. But uh, there, there was so much to play around with. The directors are incredible and, and everyone involved is, so. Do you do something different with your voice, or is it a lot of your own tenor and style of speaking? Um, it's 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 a lot of my own. I think mm -hmm. you uh, could will agree when you see it. But um, there are points in there uh, that were fun to sort of go that extra mile yeah. and feel like I was like doing a voiceover, and I could, you know, work work in some little bits here and there. So you haven't done a whole lot of voice acting, mm. uh, but but you you sing, you're a singer yes. and you're a performer. Yes. So uh, is there any? Like parallel between singing and when you're when you're acting strictly with your voice and not with your physicality. Um, you know what? I've actually never really thought about it like mm -hmm. that. Um, I think it's interesting. The voice acting, uh, it's just an interesting sort of, uh, I guess, approach because when I first went in with with uh, Sp as Spider Gwen, I didn't have necessarily. I had sketches. I didn't mm -hmm. have a emotion um, visual. Uh, and so when I came back and that was sort of starting to build along with me, it's just this, it's just this sort of like collaboration almost between the visual and the, mm -hmm. and the voice. Um, but I guess when I'm singing, that's just, that's me. So it's your own heart, yeah. your own feelings. Yeah. yeah. Now you're currently on tour. You were in England with Katy Perry. Now yes. you're touring the States. Um, you take a little break to come to Comic Con, or you go yeah, right back on I the did. road. Yeah, I did. Um, I had a show last night in Connecticut. Um, I'm here today, and then I fly back to the East Coast tonight. So we have a show tomorrow. But mm -hmm. it's been it's been amazing. I'm very excited to be here uh, with two films, which is crazy. Um, Transformers as well. So, yeah, just taking everything one step at a time. Well, I'm moderating your. Bumblebee panel yes, later great. today. Uh, so can we get a little taste of what what you're going to present at? Hall H. It's the biggest venue here at Comic Con. You've got to really bring something you sure to impress do. seven thousand people. I mean, oh, it is kind of like a concert no vibe. It is. <laughs> um, well, we have some uh, some new footage that we're bringing mm -hmm. uh, that I'm very excited about. Uh, the more uh, I see of the movie, obviously, the more excited I get because when making the movie. Uh, but making any movie, I guess, where 90% of it is uh, visual effects, special effects, uh, when you see it for the first time, it's really exciting because you kind of had no idea what was going on in that moment uh, until it's until it's there and printed. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody thinks about it. And I was fortunate enough to visit you on the set while you were filming yes. this in Long Beach. And uh, as somebody who grew up with the Transformers in the 80s when I was a little boy, mm -hmm. Uh, and now if I've passed that on to my own kids. I have a daughter who's nine and Amazing. a son who's five. But I'm really excited to see you as the hero of this story because it, Thank you. The, the 80s Transformers, well, there were no female Transformers. Sure. There were no girls in the story. Mm. I think it's significant that you're playing the lead opposite Bumblebee as his human ally. Thank you. Does that feel significant to you, too? It feels significant to that person. I mean, that was quite a response. Thanks. Uh, it does absolutely feel significant to me. I think uh, any opportunity in which I can play a, a, a role of a young female heroine, mm -hmm. um, there's there are few and far between. But uh, this was especially special to me because of that. Uh, this character is incredible and capable of the world, and, and you get to see that in this. Her so. name's Charlie. She's a, yes. like a gearhead, right? How yes. would you describe totally. her? Totally, yeah. She's she's a mechanic. She's into into everything in the garage uh, and under the hood of a car. Um, but she kind of is your typical sort of misunderstood teenager that's mm -hmm. trying to find 
who she is in life. Mm -hmm. But she has a lot of skills, and it's something you yes. share. So, uh, yes, thank right. you. <laughs> well, thank you very much for being Grace. here, Haley Steinfeld. I'm Anthony Bresnikan. Stay tuned. Watch more from Comic-Con 2018 here on EW.com.